everyone and welcome in today's video. Today we have prepared another example of an L-shaped frame for which we need, according to the exercise, we need uh, to find and determine the support reactions for this frame. And it's given that support at point A and point C are pins and at point B it's a fixed joint. And also the flexural rigidity EI is constant for both members AB and BC. To solve this problem, it is required to use the force method. And the first thing that we need to do is to determine the degree of indeterminacy of the structure. According uh, to the given support conditions, we have pin on point A and pin at point C. Therefore, this will give four announce, and we already know that there are three equilibrium equations, out of which if we do the difference, we are going to have four minus three, and it's going to leave us with a degree of indeterminacy of one. To solve with the force uh, method, there are different ways uh, that we could approach uh, this exercise. For example, uh, one that I could mention is that at point B, we can release the moment. But for this exercise, it was decided that at uh, support point uh, C, to release uh, the reaction on X direction, therefore, uh, this will make the structure statically determinate. And of course, at that uh, point where we release this reaction, we have uh, to apply a virtual force, for which case, which is one kilonewtons. Again, as mentioned in the other video, this uh, structure is solved parametrically in order for us as engineers uh, to utilize uh, the results in the end, for example, if one of these variables is going to change, for example, A. So now first, let's start to solve case uh, zero. As so we already mentioned, the structure is statically determined, and what we need to do is that by using the equilibrium equations, uh, we can find the values of the support uh, reactions. In this case, we take the sum of any moments at uh, point A and we define the reaction uh, C0. And the same thing goes on by taking the force on Y and determining the component A0. Now, obviously, uh, we also have some uh, load which is acting on the X direction. Therefore, the uh, component on X direction is going to be as shown here. Now, in order for us to utilize the force method uh, in the Next steps, we need to define the bending moment uh, functions where do we have these continuities uh, in the structure. So I decided to, to take a cut section uh, from this part and to determine the bending moment. And this is going to be the bending moment functions for axes which lie be bigger than uh, zero and smaller than 2a, which is from uh, this point to this point. And this is the bending moment function for this bar AB. Continuing from the other side, uh, I take the cut sections uh, from the bottom, and then I decide the bending moment uh, functions for axis which lie between bigger than zero and smaller than A, which is this one, this member, member BC. Now we have to do the same thing as we did uh, for case zero, but now we have to do for case one, where we have to apply that virtual load of one kilonewtons. And again, we use the equilibrium equations to determine the support reactions. And the next step to be done is to find the bending moment uh, functions, where the same approach is going to be used for this case. As you can see, these are the bending moment functions. And uh, now we can make a summary for each of these cases. We have case 0, we have case 1. And of course, uh, as a good uh, rule of thumb is, to add uh, the boundaries so you can know uh, which are the functions belonging to which boundaries so you won't make any mistakes when you do the integrals below. Next we apply the force method as we previously showed on the previous exercise and we apply the compatibility and we will get that our redundant or our unknown is going uh, to come to this uh, kind of equations for which we have to find and use the integrals. So let's calculate uh, the first noun by integrating all over the frame, which is going to be from point A, B, C. And then we are just going to find this uh, integral, which is going to look something like this, as shown here. Next, we do the same thing for the other noun, and we find the integral. And after we find this uh, integral, we can uh, substitute our unknowns into the equation which we got previously and then we can find our redundant which is going to be actually the value of the support reaction where we released 
uh, at the beginning. This is going to be the uh, component of uh, C on X direction. This is the value. And again, as on the previous exercise, which we explained, we can use again the force method to determine the other component, which is the CY reaction. And the same thing applies for the other uh, reaction, which is AX and AY. You just have to be careful with the signs. That's why I always uh, like to summarize these uh, results but a good rule of thumb might be to summarize also the uh, results of these uh, reactions because you might need them later when you find these uh, values of these uh, reactions and last but not uh, least uh, if for example we give some uh, value uh, to these uh, loads for example the vertical load and the wind load, the vertical load giving a value 10 kilonewtons per meter and the wind load 5 kilonewtons per meter. And if we give A the value of equal to 5 meters, this means that the 2A is going to be 10 meters. And if we substitute these values into the formulas which we already found from here, the results are going to be these ones here, as we can see from here. And just to make sure that what we did was correct, we have run uh, this uh, frame into a uh, finite element uh, method software from which we can see the support reactions for example we have this is our point a this is point b and this is point c so for point a the component uh, ax is 30.21 kilonewtons which is correct to our hand calculations also uh, ay we calculated by hand 41.15 kilonewtons and we got the same from the software and the same thing is valid uh, for uh, support reactions at point C. So this concludes our video today. I really hope you enjoyed today's presentation. If there is any comments, please leave your questions in the comment section below. Thank you very much for your time. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on the next video.